I've now found two mistakes in my singing monsters. Assuming that's one of them, I'm pretty sure it is, right? And they also spelled mimic wrong in, in the last episode. That was crazy. Crazy. How could you do this, monster handlers? How could you be so careless? Hey guys, welcome back to My Singing Monsters. Today, we are gonna be completing Amber Island. I am gonna have every single monster on this island by the end of this video. Sort of. The reason I say sort of, guys, is because if you go to the collection right now, it says, check it out, look at all the stuff Matt Shea has. Matt Shea's got regular Stog, rare Stog, regular Glowl, rare Glowl, but I don't actually have most of these anymore. When you take a regular monster, a common monster, and you uh, breed it into a rare, evolve it into a rare, you get to keep the common monster in your collection. Okay, so it says I have 20 out of 24, but I don't actually. Because my Kana is gone, for example. See that? We, we just got the rare Kana right now. We also only have the, uh, 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 she's in here. We only have the rare Glowl, okay? And then same goes for all the other ones that I uh, bred into a rare, such as Trunk over here. So, we, we will sort of have everything. We'll have everything for the song itself even though I'm not sure if I have enough beds to put them all out at the same time. But still, we're gonna get them all, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. Before we awake the uh, four new Amber Island monsters I haven't seen before, guys, which are already ready to go, I wanna take a look at some of the decorations because you guys asked me to in a bunch of comments. They added a whole bunch of interesting decorations in this new update, guys. First one I'm gonna look at is the uh, miniature something oh by the way and also you can get a monument for each of the anniversaries in this game one all the way through ten okay but what i want is this guy over here check this out guys miniature island complex originally constructed as a tribute to colossals and titans alike this work of art now houses many small creatures combining the fire and magical islands into a miniature island complex has created a utopia for these tiny beings to flourish. Whether it's looking through the windowed eyes or taking a relaxing dip in the sanctum swimming pool atop the structure, there's something for all these little critters to do, including some kind of invite-only shindig that crumplings are always crashing. Those darn crumplings crashing those things. Well, let's get one for our Amber Island. Not that I got a lot of room to put it down anywhere. Cause, because of all these decorations that are super expensive, cost me like half a dozen relics just to remove a rock. Make that eight relics, it's even more than half a dozen. Check this out though, guys. Are those people? No, they're not people, right? They kind of they kind of look like people. They kind of look like they could be humans, man. Kind of looks like it could be a pom-pom. But yeah, we got, we got ourselves like a little human terrarium sort of thing going on here, I love it. They're very small. Does that mean that the, 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 the monsters in this game are actually, like, gigantic? Guys, I feel like that would be absolutely terrifying. You're just up here on your rooftop swimming pool, and you look out, and these gigantic, colossal beings are just making music. Okay, it sounds kind of cool. By the way, guys, it actually says who designed each of these decorations. This one was by Anthony F. Nice job, Anthony. The next one we're gonna look at is the Optiglobe, and that's by uh, Ghost Timpa. Just came across their uh, YouTube channel recently, and I just left them a comment asking them if I can react to some of their videos, because they got some really cool videos. The existence of the Optiglobe indicates that there are more varieties of globe living in their home dimension than previously reckoned. This specimen appears to be more advanced than the others. Some have speculated that it is related in some way to the critters of Psychic Island and may even share their ability to surveil and record its surroundings. What? So it's a security camera? I don't know how I feel about that, man. This is creepy, man. This looks like a friggin' monster. Okay. Well, it ain't a monster. Let's uh, uh put you over here in the trees, okay? Because you're creepy. Don't worry guys, there's definitely not a security camera hiding in the trees recording your every move. Definitely not. All right, this one is called the uh, Shrini. I, I think it's Shrini because it's supposed to be like mini, right? The mini shrine or Shrini for short is an August creation of unknown origin, which has the power to grant monsters a vacation to the destination of their choosing. 
Well, it says it was designed by Nicholas Kelsey, so I guess that's the origin of it, right? The opportunity doesn't come without some effort, though. A monster must first collect tufts of the Sweet Streams tree, along with a special item that hints at where it wants the vacation. Then it must deposit them in the bowl of the Shrini, striking the gong with the mallet and poof. The monster will dematerialize and travel to their vacation spot. Well, that sounds like fun. Who wants to go on vacation? I think I got some room over here for it. There you go. Just sticking it up. Hey, somebody likes this. Who likes it? Somebody just said that they liked this thing, didn't they? I saw a little heart come up. Okay, maybe I'm just going crazy, guys, because I looked it up and there's only one monster that likes the Shrini and it's the Strombone and it's not on this island. Moving on. All right, guys, so there's actually like a bunch of different decorations here, so I'm not gonna read each one and put them down, but we got Cab's Wax by Cab Wax. Okay, uh, good, good name. <laughs> Automobile by uh, Daniel Nagorev. Uh, this is, it's a, a hand with little things. Bobbles, beautiful bobbles, yeah. This is the Harmonorb Holder by Deep Gruel. The Harmon Orb is an odd object. Randomly found one day, the monsters don't know what it is, but monsters near it have felt more musically inspired than ever. I'm really interested in this thing, guys. The Cave Crystal Teleporter by GPPYE. This teleporter's unstable portal appears to connect this world to the alternate dimension of Cave Crystal Island, where an enigmatic creature called the Conatruna dwells. This is the Orb of Aclino by Mnenit. What is this? Is it one of Wublin Island's numerous batteries? Is it an updated model for Galvana staff, a Dyson Sphere, a Vanda Graph Generator, or is it simply a cluttered agglomeration of different parts from a low-budget sci-fi movie? Probably the latter, but it still looks cool. It sure does. I think I want to buy one of these. Okay. Yeah, I didn't really want the big tub of wax, guys. Not, 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 not that bad anyway. But this thing, wow. We also have this macho monument, which is a guy holding a couple of thumpies, I think, by Toadbringer. Some allege that the monument is actually an early draft of the Wubox that never progressed any further. Hmm. Well, I like the Wubox the way it is, and it definitely wouldn't be as cool if it was this guy. This one right here, guys, is the most expensive one of them all, the englobulated fum. What the heck is an englobulated fum? It's by uh, Quasic and the Saibop guy. This creature or fortuitously unidentified monster, oh, that's what fum means, has been right under our noses for who knows how long. It is rumored that Dr. Warden Spirit spent an extensive amount of time trying to learn more about this apparently one-of-a-kind specimen, claiming to have witnessed its silhouette multiple times while studying the rift but that it was near impossible to track due to its tendency to being able to hop between the endless alternate dimensions which encircle the monster world. What a long sentence that was, jeez. However, the effort has revitalized quite recently and after a fortuitous encounter, the details of which we've been told shall remain murky, miry even, we've been able to study it and learn more, learn about its cryptic nature. It is assuredly highly intelligent, deeming itself a monster, of course, but one that is too sophisticated to sing, despite our campaigns of encouragement. It has stated that it prefers to be kept in dormancy inside this mechanism so it can ponder and think to itself, according to data collected vis-a-vis -vis brainwaves, exactly what it mulls over 24-7 is beyond your comprehension and none of your humbugs wax. Look at this friggin' description, guys! I've never read anything as long as that! My goodness, I've read books that were shorter! Look at it, though. Now that is an amazing creature, guys. Oh, it opened its eyes for a second. You see that? Hey! I'm gonna knock on the glass here, see this guy. Hey, what's up? He's like, I don't, I don't care about your mortal world. Okay, I can hop between dimensions. I want to take a nap. Do you really think I want to sing? Guys, there is a costume for the Stog in this update that is absolutely amazing and I want it. But let's let's wake some Amber Island monsters first. Okay, so which one do we want to start with here? Let's start with a uh, Barb, I guess, because it's just the Barb, right? No big deal. I think it's just the Barb. Okay. Yep, that's a Barb, all right. There you go, Barb. Oh. 
Huga Huga. Okay. You pretty much say the exact same thing that you say on uh, uh, one of the other islands. So we're gonna wake the Souza up, and then these two right here, never seen them in my life. I mean, I've seen them sort of in the collection or whatever, but I've, I've never heard them before, okay? That's what matters, I've never heard them. Incubate! Souza is pretty great, guys. I, I like Souza with her little, uh, her little horn. Yo! Oh! Yes! Yes. Ah! Oh. Souza, you are absolutely killing it, girl! Next up, guys, what is this? It's called conch, and it is a... Krill bee. This is some sort of shrimpy looking thing. That's all I know. What kind of noise does a shrimpy thing make? I don't know. I'm gonna say it's some sort of fluty thing. Just from the egg alone, it looks like, you know, the holes on a recorder. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that is like a fluty noise, guys. There you are. It's so tiny. Look at you down there. Here. Get a little bit bigger, okay? You're too small. I gotta say, guys, this is one ugly monster. I mean, I there's, there's no sugarcoating it, okay? Okay. Well, you sound lovely. Such gentle music coming from such a disgusting creature. And you synergize with Souza. Okay. Let's find out why you're so ugly, conch. It is unclear whether Krillby's vestigial wings are powerful enough for sustained flight, but this fire monster is more at home on the ground than it is in the air. Its talons make it easy to maneuver across many different terrains, while its wings guide the air in and around their ocarina-like bodies to help produce the lovely whistles for which they are known. This also regulates the Krillby's body temperature when running very fast, something you have to do often when you look as tasty as Krillby does. Really? Something wants to eat this? Well, it ain't me. I'm not your apex predator. Ooh, look at that, four relics for that one. Thank you. I was just thinking that nothing would ever want to eat this or be near it, honestly, guys. And, and, and I know why it's so ugly now. I actually figured it out. It's because it evolved for function. You know, it didn't evolve to be a beautiful creature. It evolved to run away from predators. Okay, Krillby, great stuff. Well, I know the Flummox is beautiful, guys. I've seen the Flummox. Now I want to hear the Flummox. Okay, speed that up. Pop it open. Crack it, baby! Look at that. Oh, is he just gonna go, oh. Sounds like he's gonna do some sort of vocal noise. I like vocals, that's cool with me. This guy is an absolute champ, look at it. Oh. Kumbayaweo. This guy has antlers that are doing this. Handlers? Hand handlers? I don't know. I don't know, man. That's pretty freaky, though. Here. Oh, you're already 100% happy. Well, that's good. He likes Kana, Waddle, Snizer, and something else. Okay. All good, man. I gotta take this guy out because he is friends with Barb. We all know it, guys, okay? We all know it, so there you go. Oh, are you a little disappointed because that's not the uh, rare Barb and you're the rare flower? I'll, I'll get that all sorted out for you in a little bit, okay? A great deal of study has gone into understanding how the branched horns of the Flummox can bend and flex, seemingly at the monster's whim. The tines at their tips are solid and sturdy to the touch but a moment later can be observed forming a variety of gestures. Okay. Could it be that this fire quad's ability to achieve a state of rhythmic bliss is responsible for this phenomenon? Or perhaps it's, it's, it's deep communion with its elements in which additionally allows it to levitate? 
The mystery endures, but no one could ever argue that being around a flummox is a serene experience indeed. No one could ever argue being around a flummox is a serene experience. I think they meant to say nobody can argue it isn't a serene experience or something. No one can deny that being around a flummox is a serene experience indeed. Okay, I've now found two mistakes in my singing monsters. Assuming that's one of them, I'm pretty sure it is, right? And they also spelled mimic wrong in the, in the last episode. That was crazy, crazy. How could you do this monster handlers? How could you be so careless? Okay, guys, I wanna go, I wanna go visit an island with a stog on it, okay? Cause I need the stog costume so bad. Uh, I think he's he's on Earth Island, right? Okay, it's Plant Island, but instead of water, it's wind. Got it. Fire Haven. Who got you, got guys? This this is where Bar basically says the same thing. Who got who got? Who got who got? Who got who? You say the same thing on Amber Island, girl. Oh my God! Drop the mic by Blake at stake. Yes. For $25,000, I can make my stock look like this, guys! Look at him! He's got little mushrooms on him! Okay, oh, drop the mic, like my mycelium. Like, like mushrooms, right? Okay. It doesn't describe the costume, so there's nothing I can read about it, but I love it! He's, he's got mushrooms for feet! Alright, guys, back to Amber Island we go. Because now that we've got our new monsters here, it's time to get a couple of rares. Guys, I find it hilarious that you need keys to do these evolutions, and it's still only like three keys. Do you know how many keys I have? I wish there was something I could spend them on, because I have 5,600 keys. Stop sending me keys, please. The keys just remind me that dipsters exist, and then I get sad, okay? Do you want to make me sad? No, I didn't think so. And if you don't want to make me sad, you should hit the like button, by the way. All right, well, let's go ahead and get ourselves a rare flugel. Probably. What you doing in there, huh? Getting up to some steamy action by yourself? What do we got here, folks? What could it be? It's a rare flugel! Touching the belly. Touching the belly. Now, guys, if we just get one more, technically our collection will be complete. It's going to say 24 out of 24 and 8 out of 8. And I haven't completed a lot of... um. A lot of islands, okay? So this is pretty crazy. Now, time to get steamy again. Get ourselves a rare barb, because I know our boy Flower wants her. Okay. Ah! That's a flag! Let's go. Boom. This time, we've done it. Ladies and gentlemen, the last one! Rare barb! Okay. Flower, I did this for you, man. Okay, fine, I did it for me, because I wanted to complete my collection. But I'm still happy for you. Wait, what? Who got sad? Someone got sad. I'm sorry. Okay. So is there anyone I want to take out of here now, guys, and uh, and listen to? I don't. <laughs> I don't really like these guys very much. I I don't have a problem with uh, with Repetillo. Okay. So we'll stick a Repetillo down here. This guy just. That's. Uh, and this guy screams. But maybe the screaming doesn't sound so bad anymore. Maybe we put away somebody and put in the screaming. Let's send them to the to, to, to the hotel, okay? Check in, a night on me, buddy. Call me crazy, but I'm bringing him back. Okay, get out of the way a little bit. Okay. It's not quite as bad now, but did I turn him down? I think I did, right? No, he's, he's normal volume, okay. I guess with other things in the song, he doesn't sound so overpowering. I would put everything out here on this island at the same time, but it's gonna cost me 180 relics to uh, get this castle to the next level. And I've done so much spinning on the wheel just to even do this episode, okay? It took me a long time. I bought $150 worth of diamonds and then I spent 1,500 diamonds getting these guys ready to go for this video. So I appreciate you guys watching this one all the way to the end. You're the best. And if you want to check out this now, you can. Cause guess what? We made it to the end of the video. Yeah, crazy. Bye.